for an enhanced voter experience there would be 60 model polling stations also and which would be green uh, initiative of the commission so that we are environment friendly and as i mentioned there would be women uh, centric all women uh, managed booths which are on the right side there would be 122 next 60 ps as i mentioned would look like this they will welcome you and the pwds at some of the identified places will have booths which will be all managed by persons with disabilities they are also this is also our way of uh, uh, of, of giving them honor and saying that they are fully empowered they can handle as anybody else can handle uh, strict directions have been given that amf assured minimum facility should be on all booths and no violation of this senior citizens as i mentioned have an option which commission is giving to if they do not want for any reason to vote to the polling station the commission will go to their houses so there is a provision of form 12d which they can file which will be open after five days of the nomination the senior citizens can register our experience is that many of them want to come to the polling station because they want to also participate in the festival of democracy. But if they decide, for some reason, our parties will go home and take their vote. And how would we ensure the secrecy of the vote? The team will go, the political agents of the political parties or candidates would also be allowed to go with them. So that nobody can influence the vote of the senior citizens. This will be videographed also. And this will be a, in, communicated in advance as to when the parties will go and pick up the votes. So this is a facility which uh, we have extended. And many states in recently had elections have utilized this. But experience is that many wants to come to the polling station itself. Uh, Form 12D would be available to them and also to the persons with disabilities. If they want to vote from their home, that also is possible. And as I mentioned, there are 7,400 uh, uh, PWDs. The next slide. There are 7,478 uh, persons with disabilities. They also will have full facility at the booth. And there is a digital platform. There is a PWD app which we call Saksham app. They can download it and in advance book any facilitation they want from us. In, even if they want a volunteer to help them at the polling station they want a wheelchair all that can be booked in advance so this is uh, i would uh, request all the pwd friends if they want to download this uh, app they would feel uh, empowered to ask for any facilitation from us the, uh, the we also have uh, there is a band here very famous band which you all might have heard light after dark which we called it, which are, which are performing and they also are kind of ambassadors for uh, awareness amongst the persons with disabilities. We are, if we come to the youth, the, some of the, just to give you a glimpse of some of the polling stations would look like this. We are making special efforts. There would be a double bridge one, there would be a makeshift uh, bamboo bridge. There would be two in River and polling stations. So these are just samples. We are trying to make the uh, experience of the polling station as friendly, as easy as possible for the voters. To target the urban and youth apathy, which is there in some parts, some people think that why go and vote, which is so in urban areas and also amongst youth. So. Commission and CEO Meghalaya has identified five lowest turnout booths in every constituency. And that comes to 300 booths. So all district election officers under the guidance of CEO are making all efforts to understand why there was a low voting last time in those 300 booths. So this is a targeted intervention which one is making and also making targeted intervention through the sweep for uh, women, for youth, for PWDs, for senior citizens. So, so I would request through you again to all our young uh, voters to please come 
and participate in the democracy festival. Uh, if we are also committed to conduct free, fair, transparent and inducement free election. For this, while we have directed to everybody and what we have directed, I'll tell you just now. But before that, digit, I mean, we are using technology to empower the citizens. So this is, there is an app called C Vigil. Citizens, we vigil. If you want to make any complaint to the election commission, just download this app and you can take a picture, upload it. If something wrong is happening, if cash is distributed, you can just take a picture and just upload this. This is your complaint. If you want to write something, you can write and text also, you can give us a complaint. And wherever, wherever you are, wherever the complainant is, from the, his latitude and longitude will be captured automatically so that we know the location where this is happening. And in 100 minutes, in 100 minutes, our teams would reach, within 100 minutes maximum, teams would reach, check it, and come, come back to the complainant that this is what is the status. Yes, your complaint was right, it has been uh, tackled, or it was partially right, but it was not right. Whatever action is taken would just be reported back. And I must tell you that in uh, all over the country, in the recently held elections over the last uh, two years or so, people are making use of it. And it is giving us a lot of advantage in tackling problems, defacements, cash distribution, liquor distribution, fights, whatever. The wrong time campaigning, campaigning outside the uh, fixed timings, all this people are, vigilant citizens are reporting, voters are reporting and we are taking action. So I would use, I would request through you that the empowered and informed voters of Meghalaya, who they are, also use this as much as they can.